Hi, so we know that exercise really helps with diabetes, but let us understand why exactly it does so. So for starters, let's understand how insulin acts on a normal muscle cell. So insulin has bound to its receptor. It activates this cascade system, which activates PIK3. Just give it a say, you have GLUT4, which is inserted onto the cell membrane. Now this GLUT4 is responsible for the influx of glucose into the cell so that it can be utilized within the cell. Okay, so there's increased glucose uptake by muscle cells. And there's another pathway of the MAPK that is activated that aids in the anabolic and growth effects of insulin. In diabetes, what happens is due to multitude of factors, there is insulin resistance. So this pathway that we've seen becomes dysfunctional. GLUT4 is not inserted. And that is what causes hyperglycemia because peripheral uptake of glucose is reduced. Now, during exercise, there is muscle contraction. For muscle contraction, your ATP is used up. The ratio of AMP to ATP is increased. This activates the AMP protein kinase pathway. And now this pathway causes direct simulation of the GLUT4 to translocate onto the cell membrane independent of insulin. It also has other effects on mitochondrial biogenesis and fatty acid oxidation. So it reduces insulin resistance in the peripheral tissue. It reduces fat and increases muscle as well as increases the peripheral uptake of insulin via these two pathways. And this is exactly why they recommend at least 30 minutes of exercise five times a week for every patient who has metabolic syndrome or diabetes.